Today we'll continue sharing cool crafting hacks for DIY lovers. We'll show some low-cost desk organization hacks you'll definitely need to know. We'll start with a stylish and functional organizer to hold scrapbooking supplies. We'll need two paper towel or toilet paper rolls and some wooden skewers. Decorate the rolls with color paper. Attach with hot glue. Mark the middle using a ruler. Then divide each part in half. Pierce the marks with an awl. Put the skewers in against the stop to mark the points on the opposite side of the roll. Pierce the holes at the points to pass the skewers through. Put the skewers into the holes. Take another roll with the same pricked marks. Pass it through. Turn over the organizer. The paper seams should be on the bottom. Attach two more skewers. Keep in mind, they should lay between the central and side ones. Hot glue to each roll. Done! To make it stable, Add an extra stand on each side using the hot glue gun. Put in the scrapbooking supplies, paper, tags, cards, and ribbon reels. You can keep paper clips on the skewer's ends or decorative tape. The light and useful handmade organizer will make a smart article for your room design. You need to leave a note or reminder sometimes but it seems there's no free space on the fridge. Make your personal daily log. We'll need a piece of thick cardboard. Fold it this way. Fold up each side. Hot glue the flaps. Decorate it with the scrapbook paper. Choose a simple ornament. Hot glue to the inside. Attach both parts. Prick two side holes on the front. Put a thin cord into the hole. Pull it up on the inside. Tie several knots to keep it in place. Test how it holds. Place the cord so it sags a little. Put it in the other hole and fasten with a knot. Take a small decorative clothespin. Attach a weekday tag to each one. Fasten the pins to the cord. Write necessary notes and reminders to the weekdays and use the daily log as your guide. Do you need to make a tag but the twine end is too frayed to pass through a tiny hole? Don't worry, we'll show how to solve the problem using the hot glue gun. Apply the glue to the frayed end. Wait until it cools. Twist and press with your fingers. The thin sharp end will pass through the tiny hole at once just like a needle with thread. Put it in the other hole. Fasten with knots at both ends. Cut off the glued edge. We won't need it anymore. Attach a note to make the tag ready. The hot glue gun appears to be a good tool to seal the frayed rope end. These USB cables are always scattered around. 
A tube holder will help put them in order. We'll need a cardstock roll from foil, plastic food wrap, or parchment paper. We'll need a smaller detail. Cut out five inches. Use a craft knife. Decorate it with the scrapbook paper. Hot glue. Hot glue small stands next to the seam. Put the USB extension cable in the holder. Cool! It fits perfectly. Define it to know what's inside. Attach a piece of the scrapbook paper to a white square. Use white glue. Describe the cable. Use a marker. Hot glue the tag. Make several tube holders from the long roll. Use different colors and tags. These smart holders will keep your cables in order. Oh, there are lots of chargers of the same color. Do you want to make your own different? Use an eye-catching tape. It's more convenient to decorate it part by part. Disconnect the cable from the plug. Attach the tape to the plug. Cut off the excess. Fold the edges to attach. Tape the top. Fold the edges. Wrap the plastic part of the USB. Carefully attach the tape edge. Choose the tape with the pattern you like and you'll always know which charger is yours. The cardstock roll is a perfect base for various holders. Let's make a phone holder. Take a 5 inch cardstock roll. Draw a line across the length. Cut it down with the craft knife. Make another cut to form a slit. Decorate it with the scrapbook paper. Fold the edge. Repeat for the other side. Apply the white glue to both flaps. Attach it to the roll folding the flaps inside the slit. We'll need push pins to make the stands. Cut off the pin using the cutting part of pliers, leaving a small sharp end. Attach the push pin on the holder. Attach four stands to make it stable. You can put in a picture or your phone. This little functional holder is light but stable. Place it on your desk to watch photos or video on the phone. Do you need an organizer to hold your felting needles? Make a simple and suitable holder in a couple of minutes. Take a sponge and a plastic top. See how much sponge you need to put it in the top. Cut off the excess. Place it inside. Trim the top. Perfect! Attach the sponge. Pour some hot glue inside. Put in the sponge. Press well to attach. Decorate the holder with the colored tape. It's ready to keep the needles safe and secure. Such a nice holder is as quick and easy as effective and functional. The necessary needles will always be at hand to make fabulous needle felted toys. We hope these life hacks will save you time and help put your school and handmade supplies in order. Besides, you can use the available recycled materials so the stuff is low cost. Write about your own unusual life hacks in your comments. Subscribe to Troom Troom and find the crafts you like. Let's be creative together. Hit the like button and click the bell to be the first to watch a new video.